Okay, we're here with another grammar video with another sentence from Malcolm Gladwell's Outliers. Uh, pretty short sentence, and we'll make quick work of it. We do owe something to parentage and patronage. Okay, so shouldn't be too hard to find our subject and verb here. Subject is we. Okay, subject. And that's not a noun. In fact, it's a pronoun. It's pronoun as our subject. We've got a verb phrase here, okay? So when we look, we have a complete verb phrase of do owe. Um, do is our helping verb. O is our main verb, so do is our helping verb. O is our main verb. Now, what's the next word in the sentence? Something. Is that related in any way to our verb phrase? Yes, it is. Um, we is our subject. We is the is doing the owing. And then who do we owe? Well, we owe, or what do we owe? We owe something, okay? So something is going to be our direct object. So do owe is our verb phrase. We is the one, it's the subject in acting the doing. Something is receiving that doing. Now we've got this little phrase at the end of the sentence. Now we've seen um, prepositional phrases before. This one's slightly different, and I'll tell you why. Because um, it extends beyond just this. So two is our preposition. You may have figured that out. And parentage is our object of the preposition. Okay, Nothing really new there. But what is new is this. What's happening right here in these final two words. And patronage. Okay, So we probably know that and is a conjunction. Um, and we're using this conjunction inside the prepositional phrase. So the preposition actually has two objects. So um, we have two parentage and patronage. Um, so basically two is sharing both this object and this object. Um, this is going to be, this is going to come in, um, a lot more in the next couple of videos that we see. Um, but you can have verbs that share subjects, verbs that share objects. You can have prepositions that share objects. Um, and that saves you from having to repeat a verb or a subject or a preposition over and over again. Um, so this is a first example of what I imagine we'll be saying many, many times in the future.